Got some hot coffee. Got my 2K ready. Let's put on a show, baby. What it do? Welcome back to another NBA 2K22 My Career video. We are continuing our little journey right where we left off in the last video. Let's do some quests and play some more NBA games. Shall we? We got a little side quest over here. Top takes. Uh, we're gonna meet Kendrick Perkins, I think, for the first time. So let's let's check that out. Welcome back to Top Takes Daily. Today we're joined by two very special guests, Ronnie 2K from NBA 2K and MP, the YouTube star turned overnight NBA sensation. Welcome to the show, fellas. Thank you, Thanks, thank Henry. you. Ronnie, you know I want to start with you. I bet you do. Now you know I've been calling you out before on how bad 2K ratings are. Bro, how can you even sleep at night? You said Russell Westbrook was better than Kevin Durant. Correction. I said Russell Westbrook was the greatest Thunder player of all time. And I stand by that. He means everything to that franchise. I have the facts and numbers to back it up, Ronnie. Guess we're going to have to agree to disagree, Perk. You're free to have a wrong opinion, Ronnie. But that's nothing new from you. Just look at the rating y'all gave MP this year. You think it was too low? Too low? Ronnie, are you okay? You gave him a 90. As a rook, you got vets who have proven themselves in the playoffs rank much lower than that. I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but y'all need to watch the games. We actually have a whole team of people that watch the games who come up with the ratings, and they are the best in the world at what they do. It's a science. Do you or do you not believe MP deserves to be a 90 in NBA 2K. Unlike you, Perk, I stand by my team. Plus, if you say you watch the games like you say you do, you know MP's the truth. Oh, I watch the games. And the truth ain't what I call MP. MP, do you deserve a 90? This early in your career? Look, of course I do, man. And if I'm being honest, I don't care what you think about my ratings. That's your opinion. And quite frankly, they don't bother me. Whose opinion do you care about, Mr. YouTube sensation? You're playing for the comment section. Look, I got a, I got a circle of people that I trust, and that's a small one, too. And if you're not in that circle, then you out of my concern. And no offense, that's just how I've always been. I got thick skin, kid. You don't got to worry about offending me. The world keeps spending. <laughs> Facts. Okay. I love to keep chopping it up with you guys, but my producer's telling me that's all the time we got for this segment. Ronnie 2K, MP, thanks for joining us, brothers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Oh, of course we deserve it, man. Even higher. And we're going to be higher. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play against my team. D. Los Angeles. Lakers! Look at LBJ! Look at the goat! Look at the goat, man! Go! <laughs> you do you, baby! You do you, baby! I'm gonna do me! You know what I'm saying? Ooh! 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 <laughs> Ankle breaker, baby! First one of many! Let's go! Oh damn, James! Damn. And that one was all about offense. Hey, what is wrong with you, bro? What is wrong with you, Monk? Monk is getting salty because we broke his ankles. <laughs> I'm coming to take your spot, baby. You're gonna be on the bench. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to Let's go. Let me put let me put him on skates. Let me put him on skates, baby. Let's go. Christian Wood. The Houston Rockets are rebuilding. Let's go. Let's go and one another one, baby. 
We've got DeAndre Jordan, Kendrick Nunn out there with Monk. Then there's Howard. Yeah. Jordan, Let's go! Beast! Let's go, baby! My first! Three plus one play, baby! Let's go! They take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the Come on, baby. Especially on the offense. Wood sets a screen to the paint for the tie. Easy buckets. We tie the game, baby. That's what happens when I'm in the game, coach. None can't get it to fall. For the lead. You take the lead, baby. Green bean flying machine. Big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. Let's go! Come on, baby. Wood sets a screen. Here's the machine. Oh! And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg the Damn! To finish it off. It's a Porker. Get out of the tie game. Wow. No playing time in the fourth quarter. And somehow we have the lead by seven. And I come in for five seconds. I come in for five seconds, bro. And here's Anthony for three. Is this coach serious, bro? Five seconds in the fourth quarter. Jesus. Oh my god. How's what's up, bud? It's early in your career, but it seems like you've developed into a much better player while you've been in the league. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Is there a part of your game you're most proud of? It's probably my decision making. You know, I've really been able to learn from experience to now make much better choices within the flow of the game. And that's carrying over off the court, too. Look, I've been talking to an amazing clothing designer named Sasha about working together. Could be the best decision of my life. You want to take it back to clothes? We can take it back to clothes. <laughs> what do you like about Sasha's designs? You know, I think it was just immediately clear that what she is matches everything that I am. It just, it, it lines up nicely to what we're trying to do. You can't work with someone if you don't have a foundation in common, you know? Her work is exciting because it, it, it feels like something familiar while also being just completely new. Mm. Interesting combination. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Let's do another one. I've noticed you sometimes bobbing your head on the court even when they're not playing anything in the arena. Oh man, you can see that? <laughs> okay. You got a song stuck in your head or something? Look, man, I just be pumping myself up, getting fired up, getting ready to play. You know, I'm trying to put on a show out there, and you can't have a show without the soundtrack. It's like, you know, I'm backing myself up with an eternal playlist. So who's on that playlist? I feel like I could use a little taste of that. Oh, I got a little of everything. I got some hip hop, but I've also been listening to a lot of Queen uh, recently, you know? I even got some Bach on there. The harpsichord on Brandenburg Concerto, number five. Oh, that's for real. I can't say I'm familiar with it. Then you know what you're doing right after this? Go get your Baroque on player. Well, Sasha is uh, nowhere to be found yet. I think maybe down the road she's gonna pull up, but now we can talk to Ricky. Yo, what's up, MP? How you feeling? complaints man i should be tired but i got energy bro like every time i turn around we got something good happening boom, boom, things are boom. moving man and you've been impressive on and off the court look i'm just i'm just grinding man just grinding well speaking of you've heard a little metal uh little metal. oh yeah you talking about old boy who freestyle just blew up that's the one look i was thinking you know maybe you and him could do something oh chill out slow down yeah <laughs> maybe i ain't heard nothing of him yet you know all right yeah that's the problem see dude's mad talented but he just don't got a lot of people listening to him. See, you, on the other hand, people listen to. You thinking I should help get the word out? I mean, yeah, that a little metal should go and get his own professional basketball career. But seeing as how the ship has probably sailed on that one, yeah. 
you should use what you do to help him do what he does. Yeah. Like, go talk to him. I mean, I'll even set it up. If you guys jail, maybe you could, I don't know, do a show together, promote it. I mean, I know you're trying to prove your music skills are more than what you show on the mic. For sure, yeah. And keep grinding, bro. Okay, MP, what's up, G? What's up, man? Little Metal. Yo, I'm a big <laughs> fan, bro. Stop playing. You serious? Absolutely. MP, a fan of Little Metal. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta be dreaming right now. You hear that, Pops? MP is a fan. So what can Little Metal do for you? You need some copper or something? No, look, man, I was, I was, I wanted to come talk business. Ricky ain't tell you, bro. I mean, he said you were coming by. I, I just saw he wanted to get you a discount or something. Nah, look, homie, I like what you do, bro. And I know all these other people will too, man. I can help get your name out. Bro. That's why I'm here. What's in it for you? Nothing in it for me. I'm just future collaboration. You got all this talent, bro. Look, how much is your cut and how much do you want? Hey, look, look, it's, it's no cut, bro. I just, we're not even talking about money right now. Oh, okay, I heard this. It's like, trust me, Little Metal, the, the money will work itself out. Serious. That That's what it is? It's not. I, I don't think so. I've seen this movie way too many times before. Yeah, that I, was straight out of Compton. I, I can't think of another movie right now, but I know that that's a vibe. OK, look, Metal, hey, can I call you Metal? Yeah, you can call me Metal, Little Metal, or Irving. Irving. Yo, look, I see why you changed that, Hey, bro. I was named after my daddy. I was named after his granddaddy. Irving is a proud name. Don't laugh at that. Yeah. You hear that, Pops? Urban is a proud name. Okay, look, look, look. This, this music is becoming more of who I am, right? I'm trying to master this, this business side and the mic stuff. Look. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm hearing it now. You want me to be your guinea pig? No, 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 no. I don't want you to be my guinea pig, bro. I just know once people see what you got to offer, that's all they're gonna be talking about. That's it. I'm just here to try to make something happen for you, bro. We'll see. You can trust me, man. We'll, we'll see. Okay, boys. So if you were not able to hear a lot of the conversation due to some music playing in the background, it's because uh, stupid ass <coughs> motherfuckers <coughs> like this guy here, Guil M. DJ. He, so guys are doing this thing right where they put their DJ station next to people that you can talk to so that you will accidentally press X like this and uh, give VC to them uh, whoever does this you are freaking annoying and you are a lame piece of shite okay I hope you lose your 2k account and I hope you lose all your VC. There have been so many instances where guys do this. They place this bullshit next to someone and I cannot even talk to the person. Like like I, I, I spend like uh, 5 to 10 minutes walking around a person trying to talk to the person and uh, trying not to give VC to them. Okay, I think 2k should patch this shit. <laughs> you should not be allowed to place your dj station next to people that you can talk to and uh don't do this don't be lame okay don't do this don't be lame respect yourself and respect others look thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me i'm just gonna cut straight to the chase i've got an artist that'd be great for your club are you trying to play coy with me is it you <laughs> you want to put on a show here no 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 it's this new guy his name is Lil metal Never heard of him. Not interest. But look, that's just it. This is going to be his debut. This is going to be the mythic show where Little Metal first took stage. Look, people are going to be talking about this. Most importantly, they're going to be talking about how it happened at your spot. Or I have an empty club except for one rapper on stage and two parents in the crowd. I don't host talent shows. I can guarantee you. Oh, it's going to be packed. <sighs> Tell you, Tuesdays are pretty slow around here. Okay, you want to put on the show? I'll give you a Tuesday. That's perfect. Look, that's that's all I need, man. But you gotta promote it or the deal's off. Oh, that's not a problem. I can do that. Oh, look, I'm happy to hustle to make this happen, whatever it takes. But I'm gonna hit you up soon, okay? Yeah, come back when you're done and we'll talk. Time to start branching out and making friends in the industry, finding up and coming artists to collaborate with. Go to 98.9, the Flex Radio Studio. Call on Andrew Torres after an NBA game to promote the show. Sounds good to me. All 
right, all right. Welcome back, y'all. The Major Workout's got a new guest with us, basketball superstar, rapper, and all-around force of nature, MP, is in the house. <laughs> Yo, it feel good to be here, man. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. So tell me, MP, I mean, you know this is not a sports talk station, so why are you gracing our airways? You playing with me? We not about to talk about the last game. I got, yo, where my, where's my agent? Where's Ricky? <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, man, you know, I'm a lot more than just basketball. I have this huge passion for hip hop. Yeah, no, we know that. I mean, we heard that uh, verse you dropped. So tell us, is there an album on the way? Uh, maybe in the future. Okay. But you know, right now I'm here to talk about this new upcoming. His name is Lil Metal. Mm. And he is no joke, man. He actually has a show coming up at the B-Box and it's about to be epic. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so you're promoting now. Okay, you dropped that one verse and now you're trying to be Puff Daddy? <laughs> Look, if we're being honest, bro, it's already one Puff Daddy. But I'd be honored to follow in his footsteps. You know, the one thing that he does exceptionally well at is recognizing talent and determining it and help nurture it and, and growing it into just this, this special thing. That's what I'm hoping to do with Lil Meadow. Okay, all right. Love hearing that. So, so tell us, MP, I mean, why is this a show we absolutely cannot miss? Man, because I believe in this guy. He really is going places. You know, his skills are unparalleled, and he's just about to go off like nothing you've ever heard before. I wouldn't be sitting here next to you right now on this radio show telling you just to listen to anybody. But Lil Metal, I stand behind him 100%, and you can believe that. I love the confidence. I love it all. You know, I got to admit, I am very intrigued. And, you know, I am a very tough audience as well. So who knows, MP? Maybe I'll see you there. All right? Okay, we got to take another break, but stay with us for more of the best hip-hop today, yesterday, and tomorrow right here on 98.9 The Flags. Okay, we're clear. Hey, man, thanks so much for coming on. It's really a pleasure to have you. Yeah. Thank you for yeah, having me. The show sounds great. I hope to see you. Yeah, no, I'll be there. I'll I'm, be there. I'm going to hold you to it. Hey, you can. 100%. <laughs> Hi broskies, these are the current badges that we're playing with. Feel free to pause and check them out and recommend something down in the comments below if you enjoyed this episode. Also, drop me a like down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Those things would be appreciated. We're gonna continue our journey in the next video. Until then, you already know the deal, man. Peace out.